Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In algebra, an alternating polynomial is a polynomial f, x1, xn, such that if one switches any two of the variables, the polynomial changes sign. f, x1, xj, xi, xn equals minus f, x1, xi, xj, xn. Equivalently, if one permutes the variables, the polynomial changes in value by the sign of the bergen, f, x sigma, n, x sigma, n, s n, sigma, f, x n, x n. More generally, a polynomial f, x1, x n, y1, y t, is said to be alternating in x1, x n if it changes sign if one switches any two of the x i, leaving the y j fixed. Relation to symmetric polynomials products of symmetric and alternating polynomials in the same variables x1, xn, behave thus. The product of two symmetric polynomials is symmetric. The product of a symmetric polynomial and an alternating polynomial is alternating. And the product of two alternating polynomials is symmetric. This is exactly the addition table for parity with symmetric, corresponding to even and alternating corresponding to odd. Thus, the direct sum of the spaces of symmetric and alternating polynomials forms a superalgebra, a Z2 graded algebra, where the symmetric polynomials are the even part and the alternating polynomials are the odd part. This grading is unrelated to the grading of polynomials by degree. In particular, alternating polynomials form a module over the algebra of symmetric polynomials. The odd part of a superalgebra is a module over the even part. In fact, it is a free module of rank 1, with the Vandermont polynomial in n variables as generator. If the characteristic of the coefficient ring is 2, there is no difference between the two concepts. The alternating polynomials are precisely the symmetric polynomials. Vandermont polynomial, the basic alternating polynomial, is the Vandermont polynomial. Vn equals pi 1 less than or equal to i less than j less than or equal to n xj minus xi. This is clearly alternating, as switching two variables changes the sign of one term and does not change the others. The alternating polynomials are exactly the Vandermond polynomial times a symmetric polynomial, equals V and S, where S is symmetric. This is because Vn is a factor of every alternating polynomial. Xj minus Xi is a factor of every alternating polynomial, as if Xi equals Xj, the polynomial is zero. Since switching them does not change the polynomial, we get f, x1, xi, xj, xn, equals f, x1, xj, xi, xn equals minus f, x1, xi, xj, xn. So, xj minus xi is a factor, and thus vn is a factor. An alternating polynomial times a symmetric polynomial is an alternating polynomial. Thus, all multiples of vn are alternating polynomials conversely. The ratio of two alternating polynomials is a symmetric function, possibly rational, not necessarily a polynomial. Though the ratio of an alternating polynomial over the Vandermond polynomial is a polynomial. Sure, polynomials are defined in this way, as an alternating polynomial divided by the Vandermond polynomial. Ring structure thus, denoting the ring of symmetric polynomials by lambda n, the ring of symmetric and alternating polynomials is lambda and vn or more precisely lambda and vn slash vn 2 minus delta, where delta equals vn 2 is a symmetric polynomial, the discriminate. That is, the ring of symmetric and alternating polynomials is a quadratic extension of the ring of symmetric polynomials, where one has adjoined a square root of the discriminate. Otei, it is lomitko in dva. If 2 is not invertible, the situation is somewhat different and one must use a different polynomial Wn and obtains a different relation. See Romagny. Representation theory from the perspective of representation theory. The symmetric and alternating polynomials are subrepresentations of the action of the symmetric group on n letters on the polynomial ring in n variables. Formally, the symmetric group acts on n letters and thus acts on derived objects particularly free objects on n letters, such as the ring of polynomials. The symmetric group has two one-dimensional representations, the trivial representation and the sign representation. The symmetric polynomials are the trivial representation, 
and the alternating polynomials are the sine representation. Formally, the scalar span of any symmetric resp alternating polynomial is a trivial resp sine representation of the symmetric group, and multiplying the polynomials tensors the representations. In characteristic two, these are not distinct representations, and the analysis is more complicated. If n greater than two, there are also other subrepresentations of the action of the symmetric group on the ring of polynomials, as discussed in representation theory of the symmetric group. Unstable alternating polynomials are an unstable phenomenon. The ring of symmetric polynomials in n variables can be obtained from the ring of symmetric polynomials in arbitrarily many variables by evaluating all variables above x n to zero. Symmetric polynomials are thus stable or compatibly defined. However, this is not the case for alternating polynomials, in particular the Vandermond polynomial. 